Hey, it's Gabe with API Nation. Today I'm going to show you how you can sync Mojo Dialer to Chime. Mojo Dialer is a super powerful tool. They have a triple line dialer feature so you can dial through your prospects and leads three times faster than you could on your normal phone or using a single line dialer. Let me show you what it looks like once you have this sync set up. So you're here in Mojo, you've made your great call and you want to send it over to the connected app. All you do is click this drop down under actions and you're going to click send to API Nation. That's going to send it immediately to the connected app through API Nation. And if you want to check on what's going on with the sync, you can always click on this integrations tab and it's going to show you the complete history of how often that has gotten synced to your connected app. Also, because it is synced, it's synced in real time. So any changes you make to this contact now in Mojo will continue to update this contact in your connected app. Let me show you how to set up this integration. First thing you're going to do is go to apination.com and you can click on start syncing. There is going to take you to a page full of apps, marketing apps, productivity apps, real estate apps. You're going to scroll on down to you get to M for Mojo dialer and click on that. Once you click on Mojo, you're going to see all the apps you can sync with Mojo Dialer. So let's scroll on down until we get to Chime. There it is. I'm going to click on that to set up that sync. And you're going to see there's a sync available to send Mojo contacts into Chime. So I'm going to activate that sync. And the first step is to sign into your API Nation account. If you don't have one yet, you can create one here or you can sign in with Google. I'm going to go ahead and sign in with Google. And then the next step is to go ahead and connect Mojo. So you're going to hit this connect button. It's going to take you to the Mojo website. All you have to do is sign into your Mojo account and that makes the connection. Similar thing with Chime, you're going to hit connect. It's going to take you out to the Chime website. You can just sign in and authorize the connection. All right, now we're going to set up the sync. So a couple options here. The first is to sync by group. And you can go ahead and do this, especially if you're going to handle different groups, you want them handled differently in Chime. So for example, I'm going to set this up for the hot leads. So I have a group in Mojo called hot leads. So keep in mind, if you set up this group filter in Mojo, you're still going to have to hit that action that says send to API nation, but you're also going to have to make sure they're in the group you've specified. So this one would have to be in the hot leads group. Because that's what the sync is looking at. So we're looking at hot leads, we're syncing it over to Chime. And then there's a couple options here. Do I wanna overwrite the information in Chime or do I only wanna add in blank fields? And then do I wanna assign an agent? I'm gonna say, go ahead and overwrite the information. That way if I add a new phone number or change the address in Mojo, go ahead and send that information into Chime. So I'll leave that box unchecked. And then I don't wanna assign an agent necessarily. I'm just gonna have it assigned to me. But if you wanted, you can go ahead and select an agent here. I'll hit subscribe and that creates the sync, but the sync is not yet active. So all we have to do to activate it is hit this big button, but I want to show you a couple things first. We talked about that hot lead. So like I said, maybe you want to treat different groups from Mojo differently in Chime. You would just come down here into the mapping and just come down here to tags. Chime allows you to sync tags over and I'm going to say, I want to tag this with hot lead or you can tag with hot mojo or whatever it, whatever you'd like. This looks good to me. If there's anything else you want to add, I'm going to put maybe put mojo as the source. This all looks good. Maybe I wanted to use the address not just as the mailing address, but I also wanted to use it as the property address. I could do that. So I would just add it in like this. City state zip and address. Perfect, just hit that plus sign, find the field you wanna pop in there, and there you go. So this looks good to me. I'm gonna go ahead and activate this sync. And now I'm gonna start syncing over everybody I add to that hot lead group that I click send to API Nation. But maybe I wanna sync over more groups. So I'll just clone this sync, and it's gonna create an identical sync with the same connections. And instead of doing hot leads this time, Maybe I'm going to come down here to Fizbo's. Go ahead and uncheck hot leads. And I'm going to come down here to the tag and I'm going to change it from that hot leads tag to Fizbo. So this way you can have different things happen with different groups getting synced over from Mojo into Chime. So just an option. You know, there's also the option if you just want to have everybody sent over. 
to just go with all. And then just have everybody who's added to a group, who, whenever you click that send API nation, they get synced into Chime. So that's an option also, but I kind of like setting up the different group filters. So they get the tags and they come over and I know exactly where they came over from in Mojo. You can even rename the workflow. So I would change this one to Fizbo, Mojo contacts in the Chime and then activate that sync. And that's it. That's it. That's how you set up the sync. Now you're going to be able to dial through and prospect three times faster. It's super easy to set up and you're going to be able to create more deals. If you have any questions or need any help setting up this sync, give us a phone call, shoot us an email, we're API Nation, and we are connecting.